front of the video guys hi guys shadow from the future here um, just real quick in front of the video before you watch this giant ass rant about shit oh wow it's getting dark real quick what the hell <clears throat> if you um, in terms of schedule let me know what you want in terms of a schedule with twitch and YouTube uh, let me know if you want me to either pump out all my old videos and all the games as golds that I've missed first and then go back to a schedule of Crash Bandicoot and Assassin's Creed and shit or do my schedule now and pump out other those other videos from time to time uh, uh, eventually getting all of them out or should I just give up on YouTube altogether and just go straight to Twitch and just only use YouTube for like maybe releasing montages or updates what do you guys think? Let me know. Should I go full Twitch, full YouTube? Do a bit of both. What do you think? Let me know. Alright, enjoy the rant. I doubt you'll watch it all. <sighs> hey Shadows, how's it going? Shadow Sick here. Welcome to just uh well welcome to twenty nineteen. Boom, we're here. Um, <clears throat> there's a few things that I wanted to talk about this year um, and reflect back on 2018. Uh, stuff's been all over the show, you know, up and ups and downs all around, that kind of thing. Uh, okay, cool, my mic's working. Just double checking, that would have been annoying. Um, ages ago, well, Last time I did, uh, like, you know, a thing. Don't reopen. Uh, I know I used to do the numbers and everything like that. Uh, well, my computer... One of the things that happened last year was my computer had a big fucking spasm. And I lost a lot of shit. So I lost uh, my numbers for 2017. And I was going to compare the end of, you know, to the end of 2018. But, um, a lot of stuff's happened over this year. Look at that, that was fucking brilliant. Frothy, chocolate-topped coffee, cappuccino. Um, so a lot of stuff has happened over the, over the years, oh, over the year, sorry. Um, a lot of ups and downs for me, personally. Um, a lot of ups would be that doing my family tree... Uh, family tree is definitely one of my my ups this year, um, and it's still the the main tree's finished. That's what I'm happy about. That this year I finished the tree. All I need to do is add the leaves and shit, but that can go over time. That's not a rushed thing. That's a thing that will constantly be added to. Our uh, next plan is the is the chest area, but um, we'll get there eventually. Maybe this year. I don't know. Uh, I usually try to keep it one tattoo a year. Um, but we'll see how we go. There's a lot of things that, um, happen. I went and met my friends that I'd been gaming with for a few years the, for the first time in Australia. I went to Australia. That was awesome. Uh, first trip on my own, first holiday on my own, first annual leave I've ever had in a job. Just the whole experience was something just completely new altogether. It was crazy and it was fun. Um... If I miss or brush over or skip a few things that I can't quite remember that happened this year, I'm sorry, especially if you're a part of it. But um, a lot of stuff has happened this year. Um, I've progressed and advanced a lot in my job. I won't go into details because I'm not allowed to talk about it. But I've progressed a lot. And I'll be doing a course this upcoming year uh, to further my career even further. Which will be exciting. So this April... I should be starting an intake of a new course to progress myself up into the in the company that I'm working in, which is exciting. It's really exciting. Uh, I cut my hair. That was another big thing, of course. Been growing my hair for quite a while, and it was almost down to my ass, all off. That was a big step, and I do miss my long hair, low key. I do miss my, my long hair. Um, dyed my hair for the first time in a, many years, which was cool as well. Um, yeah, there's just been a lot of ups and downs. Lost a lot of good people at my job. 
I lost a lot of good people in my life uh, to death as well, which is unfortunate. Ah, uh, fucking the first year, the f the first month of the year, kicking it off with a bang, and my best friend, one of my best friends, dies in a car accident. And that was a big kicker to 2018, because other than a lot of good stuff that's happened in 2018, I felt 2018 for me was a pretty shit year. There's a lot of great stuff, don't get me wrong, but 2018 just really kicked my ass emotionally. Um, been heartbroken multiple times this year. Um, and a lot of people have died that I know. Um... Which hasn't been fun either. It's just... The first half... Of 2018, like the first few months of 2018, really rammed me. Really fucked me over. Which was upsetting. Um... You shift this down even further? It's as low as it goes. Just wanted me to be more central. Um, yeah, there's just been a lot of shit that's happened. A lot of shit that's happened. But I can't deny that there was some good shit as well. You know? Um, So I'm just trying to drink this while it's hot because cold coffee's not good unless it's iced coffee, which is brilliant. But um, there's a lot of good stuff that has happened this year. My Twitch has kicked off quite a lot. Um, I gained a lot of following, a lot of donations, surprisingly as well. A couple subscribers. I reached affiliate this year, or well, you know, this year, 2018. So I got enough followers and viewers to become an affiliate with Twitch and be able to actually get, you know, paid for Twitch. Um, and I'm on my, on my road to a partnership. Um, and I've met the requirements. I just need the consistency of, I think, 75 viewers, like, for 30 days. Which is the hardest one to get because I usually only get, like, max, like, 10. Maybe 20, if I'm lucky. Um, the one time I got more than that was when I got that, that raid, oh yeah, that happened this year, that's what got me to the affiliates, I got raided by a YouTuber, I mean, not a YouTuber, a streamer, um, and I called Daffran, and he fucking just blew me up, like, I was just sitting drunk, home, like, drunk at home at my dad's, bored, kind of lonely, not gonna lie, and just kind of blazing around, so I was like, I kind of want to chat to someone, so I'll jump on my Twitch and see who's on, if they just want to talk. So it's just a boring face cam to stream, you know? And then, <clears throat> all of a sudden, out of nowhere, because I named the stream Drunk, I get raided, and I go from, like, two, two, one or two viewers to, like, fucking, or, like, almost 2,000 viewers. And it was insane. And everyone was raiding me and typing raid in the chat, and I was freaking out. I was like, what the fuck's going on? And shit like that. And it was crazy. It was exciting. Um... And then Twitch hit me up and was like, yo, you want to be an affiliate? I'm like, uh, fuck yeah. Sign the contract and everything. Seek. Um, so that was exciting. Yeah, there's been a lot going on. A lot going on. Uh, recently I did a trip to the top of the North Island, which I'd never done before. It was a very spontaneous trip. Someone who I had met with only within 24 hours... Of each other, knowing each other. Me and her, uh, well, she rented a car. Me and her drove all the way up to the top of the island, which took about five hours. And drove all the way back down, which took about five hours. That was, but I was both tired and exhausted. I was like so exhausted after that. But it was such a fun time and something that I never thought I would do. But I don't regret it. Now, it kind of sucks that that person has moved back over. Gone back overseas, and I probably won't see them again, but it uh, it was an experience that I couldn't take back, because it was just amazing, and 
I like, I w <clears throat> it's not something that I wanted to do, really, like, I was just kind of joking, but then I was like, you know what, fuck it, I've got a day off, I've got nothing, I'm, nothing to do, let's just do it, you know, because you don't, like, I still f refer back to YOLO when that came out back in high school, but you do only live once, um, which I've never actually heard people say YOLO anymore, people don't go YOLO, I feel it like really don't hear that anymore, which is good <laughs> but um you, you you do only live once as far as we're all aware so you got to kind of live your life to the fullest and that's what I want to do so this year I'm definitely going to take a lot more opportunities as they come that's why I've done this course because I avoided this course with my work for so long I was didn't feel ready I didn't feel confident I wasn't sure I wanted to do it but I'll you know what now I'm just like yeah fuck it because what else am I going to lose in life if I don't just take up any opportunity that comes my way? You know, whether it be something career-wise or something lifestyle-wise, just fucking do it. So I said yes to my, to my boss. I said, yes, put me on this, 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 and this, and this. And let's just fucking do it. Let's just fucking do it. Because you don't know. And I'm starting it soon. I'm wanting to take some time off before I go away, whether it be around home or over to Australia to see my mates again which would be nice hopefully I can do that if I have enough money but fingers crossed we'll see um, at, this, at least I'd probably just need to save it for the plane tickets and accommodation and food I'll need just a few hundred for but we'll see um I've had a lot of pos a lot of positive things happen to me from work I've met a lot of amazing people a lot of people um, telling me how I've helped them and how I've changed them, which is amazing. Again, I can't go into too much detail. I have had, uh, in terms of a negative note, I have been in a couple of car accidents. Uh, not major ones, but car accidents um, this year, which is not fun. Um, paying those bills back, which is not fun. Get insurance, kids. Um, yeah, I got a PS4, got an Xbox One X, got those this year, I believe. <clears throat> bunch of games and everything like that. Met a lot of amazing people through online gaming, believe it or not. A lot of amazing people. Um, yeah. There's a lot that's come on. And I'm sweating because I'm drinking a hot coffee and it's fucking hot as fuck. Where's my phone? Oh, there it is. What is the temperature right now? It's probably super, super fucking hot compared to other people. Um, wow, really? It's only 22 degrees? It feels like fucking 27 or something. It's so hot. It might just be my room because I don't have the window open. <coughs> but I feel like that just lets in more warm air. I want a proper air condition. I get, I'm getting a bit of a sheen right now. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see the little sheen. But, um, yeah, this video is just a ramble on about a bunch of shit, so... I don't expect much people to watch this. Um, in terms of heartbrokenness, um, I've met a lot of lovely people, and I've also had a lot of people that have fucked me over, <laughs> and turned out to be not so lovely people. So, I'm still single, and I have been single for a very fucking long time. Um... But, at this point, the amount of times that I've been kind of fucked over, I'm just kind of wanting to, and, and my, again, my mind may change because I don't really want to be scheduled or um, consistent. I want stuff to just be fucking at a random uh, surprise motherfucker or whatever, just do stuff randomly, you know, just not heavily rely on something because... Doing a life of a consistent schedule for me is just not fun because I feel like I'm just a slave to something that I don't want to do and you lose the love for what you want to do. That's why with Twitch and YouTube, that's why my YouTube channel this year, I've really slowed down on uploading because I just I feel like I've lost the fun in it. You know, I've lost the love for YouTube. Um, and I've taken a bit of a hiatus from it and I'm starting to want to do YouTube again. Same with animation. 
for a while I was doing it constantly every day every week and then kind of went off it for a while and now I'm wanting to do it again so there's a lot of um stuff I want to want to do <sighs> um this is a christmas present by the way it's fucking it's so cool it's got like a big shield on the back it's nice um but yeah there's just a lot of um stuff you just lose interest in or you lose the enthusiasm for that's why um i want to do i want to be a bit more freely be a bit more free a bit more wild a bit more spontaneous with what i want to do but a part of me wants to do a bit of a schedule i mean i may change it from time to time i don't know i'm not sure how i can change it up into a schedule where it's not boring and constant it's a schedule but it's not like the same thing blah blah blah, blah, blah. um like a stream schedule and also a youtube schedule and also just a main focus priority schedule in terms of what i want to do so i'm thinking like for example um, one of the examples is just focus this whole year on my Shadow Productions YouTube channel. So making music videos and other shit like that. Or a whole year on stream. Like just all Twitch. Focusing on every aspect of Twitch. Or a whole YouTube and just get, try to get back into YouTube. Um, or animation even. You know. Um, or do like maybe... Week YouTube, week Shadow Productions, week stream, or something like that, like week basis or month basis. Like this month is going to be Twitch, this month's going to be YouTube, this month is going to be uh, animation, or even daily. I don't know if daily would be too consistent, like too much in one go to try like balance. Because I feel like with a month or a week, you can kind of like some days I'll do it and some days I won't, and it won't be a loss. Where if it's every day, single day, I feel like I'm forcing myself that I have to do it that day, or else I can't do it until next time. You know what I mean? So it's... I'm trying to find a balance of consistency. But I'm getting a... a bit of a love back for YouTube. But at the same time, I'm wanting to really focus on my animations and my music video making. And my short film making. And just focusing on my shadow productions. Because as much as I want everything to be somewhat free. And somewhat like... Um, not have to hire anybody... Or anything like that, or not have to fucking, you know, do anything specific. It's and like pay you a lot of money to like, you know, hire actors and shit like that. I feel like that's gonna have to be the way I'm gonna have to do it. So I feel like if I'm gonna make anything, I'm actually gonna open up these windows. It's starting to get really hot in here. too much sunlight. Oh great, my computer went black. See, I'm clearly recording a video. Why did my computer go black? Like why? And holy shit, I'm white. Maybe I...
You know what I might add to the list? I might add that I might buy some shorts this year and start trying to wear shorts more because it is so hot. And if I go over to Australia, my God, I'm going to die <laughs> if I don't have some shorts. So check that on 2019 shopping list. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, I hate this weather so much. And I can't stream properly because my computer's like, too much heat. Oh no. It's so bad. Um, okay, fuck, where was I going with this? <clears throat> uh, what was I doing? What was I talking about? Shit. <clears throat> Oh yeah, with YouTube and shit. So like, trying to find a schedule that works. Because I feel like a part of me just wants to stop the games with golds because I feel like they're taking over my YouTube schedule too much. Um, so stop doing the updates of the games with golds and being like, hey, welcome to the games with gold for this month, this, this, and this, and this. Um, I feel like I just want to make this the video itself. Even though I feel like the gaming video itself doesn't actually get any recognition. Like, I feel like the actual video of me playing the game and rating it, people just don't give a shit about. People actually just give a shit about the, um, the update. Let me just check my videos real quick. Yes, people seem to view the actual updates more than the actual gameplay. But I still want to download the games, though. So what do you, what do you guys think? Because I don't know. Because, like, maybe I'll, I'll just download the games... And then just eventually play them. And, um... I don't know. There's a lot of different things that I could do. I can't come up with a schedule right now, but I might have to... We might have to work on that over time. And figure out what, um... Was best for the channel. Because a part of me is just... A lot of people are telling me just to give up the gaming on the YouTube channel and just focus on... Something else. Just put the gaming all on Twitch. I don't know. Same with Twitch as well, like, consistently uploading a series, but at the same time wanting to play other games as well. Like, I'm meant to be playing Dark Souls, streaming Dark Souls 3, but I'm also meant to be recording it on YouTube. Um, but I'm also meant to be, um... Uh, but I'm also wanting to play other games like Dead Island and, uh, Siege and Halo and, um, like, XCOM and shit. Other than just Dark Souls. So I'm just so all over the place. I just want it to be spontaneous. If I feel like making this video, I, feel, I want to make this video. If I feel like streaming this, I want to be able to stream this. But in terms of getting like up there, in terms of like YouTube, I feel you have to have a pretty consistent schedule, which I don't like. I just want to be able to just be like, boom, here's this thing. Boom, here's this thing. Boom, let's go do this. Boom, let's go do that. Without having a worry or plan or anything like that. And like, going back to my um, Shadow production stuff, I feel like I'm having to start, I'm going to have to start saving money to hire actors and hire people to help me out with these projects, because no one's wanting to do it for free, no friends are really wanting to help me out, and the people that I'm wanting, I see in that I want to be in it, don't want to be in it, so I feel like I really have to start scouring and unfortunately investing in it, like money and time. Which sucks, because I wish I could just cheat my way around it. <laughs> Same with animation, I wish I could just cheat my way around it and just be like, here's my idea, and give it to a team of animators, and the animators just go, boom, 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 and just make it, and I'm just like, thank you. But animation takes a lot of time. It takes many, many years if you're wanting it to be a good enough quality, and it's long enough. Um, and the thing is with my, my Shadow Productions ideas is that I know I'm not going to get paid for them, but I really, really want to make them. I don't want to die knowing that I had lists and lists and lists of ideas that I want to just throw out there, you know? And I feel like this year with girlfriends or just partner or whatever, I just don't know if I'm ready. A part of me misses the whole... Let's jump back to the Tinder thing. A part of me misses the whole affection and cutesy things, you know, the hugging and the kissing and the anniversaries and the... And the cutesy stuff, you know? But at the same time, um, I feel like it's just going to get in the way of all the stuff that I'm trying to do. And a lot of people are like, just focus on yourself. Don't worry about the girls. Just focus on yourself. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, but I'd like to come home to someone sometime, you know? Come home and have that person that I can just 
lie down with and just feel at peace for just a few moments in my life. But then there's a lot of the bad shit that comes with the relationship that really holds me back. And then sometimes, because I work in a mall, um, you deal with you deal with little little kids, like children, like little babies, toddlers, and you just, especially if they connect with you and they like, wave at you or give you a high five or something or smile at you, even you just a part of uh, for me anyway, a part of a little a little bit of inside of me just starts wanting to have a kid, and I'm like, well, I don't have a missus, I don't have a girlfriend, I haven't had one for a long time got to start there first you know so there's just a lot of different aspects that are just being thrown at me right now that I don't know what I want to do and it fucking irritates me but yeah I don't know what I'm going to do with my life this year I feel like with this year I'm just going to take it by ear if I want to make something I'll make something if I want to do something I do something I do kind of want to make a schedule, so if you guys have any advice for schedules, please let me know. Um, I'd love to know your guys' opinion on what you would want. Because you're the ones that are watching, I'm not watching my own shit, you know? So let me know what you guys want. So plans for this year. Try to be a bit more consistent. But also try to have a lot of fun and be very spontaneous. Take risks. Um, probably slow up on the games with gold. And focus on my old YouTube schedule. I kind of missed that. You know where I was doing Crash Bandicoot and Shadow Sundays and Minecraft. And doing Assassin's Creed and that kind of stuff. It'd just be nice, you know. Especially because with the games with golds, they need to be every single month. Whereas in the um, the 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 other videos, I could like grab like a month's worth and then upload it the next month. You know what I mean? So that's what I might do. Is I might just load up a bunch of videos and pump them out as I go. And then if there's a uh, if, like the first week of First or second week of um, uh, a month, I'll try get the the games with gold video out and pop it out. Um, so I'm still trying to feel out the games with gold because I feel like the games with gold either threw me for a loop and kind of threw me out of my YouTube space trying to do reviews and gameplay every time, or games with gold kind of like put me off of YouTube for a while and just made me want to stop doing YouTube altogether. So I don't, I don't know. I'll figure that out. Um, in terms of girlfriends, I love. I don't know what I want. I don't know if you're seeing this part, and especially if you're a girl, if you know me or whatever. I don't know what I want. I don't know if I'm ready to commit. But at the same time, if it feels right, I, I might just go for it and just be like, you know what, this person's probably gonna leave if I say if like I just want don't want a relationship. Let's just fucking give it a go. And see if we are meant to be. Because if we're not, we're not. If we are, well then, fucking awesome. I don't know. But I feel like I shouldn't think about it too much. Because I've deleted a lot of my dating... Like, all my dating apps on my phone now. I'm just over it. I'm just over the... The shit at the moment. And I might install it later. I don't know. I change my mind quite a lot with that kind of stuff. Especially, you know, the some days you just feel like super fucking lonely. I don't know what I want. I don't know. <sighs> but I want to do a lot more. Like, um, I want to go places. I want to do things. I want to travel a bit, maybe. Because it's getting to that state where I just don't know. I just feel like I'm just doing the same thing. Eat, sleep, work. Eat, sleep, work. Eat, sleep, work. So I want to be able to do a lot more. I want to try travel around New Zealand more and see more of my own country before I start traveling out to other countries. I'd love to travel to other countries. Um, I'd love to start eating a little healthier. I wouldn't say fully healthy because, you know, fucking McDonald's is a shit. But, um, 
I was thinking about like maybe getting like a, a blender, like a Nutribullet or something, and start like having like fruit juice instead of like Coke and water. I'll still do a few drinking streams and a few videos where I'm drinking, of course, because that makes me somewhat funny or at least uh, embarrassingly drunk to the point where people find it a little funny and a little cringy, I don't know, but making a bit better choices, I might start even like, and again, like people say all of this shit in the new year, but who knows if they actually fucking do it, so don't take take my word for this shit, but maybe even start eating properly, getting the right amount of iron in my diet, getting the right amount of vitamins and all this other stuff that your body needs um, as well. Try making proper meals instead of sausages, even though I'm probably going to cook some after this video. <laughs> um, you know, just do more. Do more. Um, and just make things. In terms of like other stuff, um, I really want to get my full license sorted. Uh, maybe get a better car. After that road trip, I'm thinking a Toyota Corolla, maybe. It's fucking pretty nice to drive. Who knows? We'll see. Um, I want to get my motorcycle license started, at least. Maybe get a motorbike as well. I'd love to have a motorbike. Oh my fucking god, you have no idea. Um, I'd love to move out of this place and get my own place, or at least a place where I share it with just one other person, maybe. A friend, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. But I'd love to just get my own place so I don't have to have everything in one area. Maybe have, like, two rooms where, like, one is just all YouTube and streaming and the other one is my bedroom, at very least, you know? If I could, cause, but it's expensive as fuck, because so I'd love to live in the, in the city, in an apartment, um, with a balcony. Oh be amazing but it's very fucking expensive so that might not happen um, I want to get more tattoos done fuck off computer why do you go dark when I'm clearly doing something um, yeah just want to do a lot more make a lot more earn a lot more live a lot more but who knows who fucking knows at this stage I'm just thinking too far ahead just gotta kinda try live in the moment make what I can, do what I do cause I've still got videos dating back like pre-recorded videos dating back to like early 2017 like in January and it may be even 2016 December that I haven't released yet. And a part of me wants to just pump them out. But another part of me wants to like pump them out in a schedule. You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you guys think? A part of me is like doing it in a schedule. Or... Um, pump out videos from date. Just be like, these are all these ones leading up to this. And then pump out all the games with gold that I missed afterwards. And then go back to my consistent schedule. That might be a good idea, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. I don't know anymore. I'm going to chuck this at the front of the video. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. Guess we'll just kind of play it by air and see what happens. See where life takes us. I kind of don't want to do it alone. But at the same time, I feel like I should. Because I feel like anyone that I lend to my life just kind of... Eventually... Disappoints. Can't say that for everybody. Because I do still have some really lovely people in my life. But a lot of the people that I thought were absolutely amazing. It's gone. <sighs> Alrighty. I'm gonna go do some stuff. Catch you guys later. Alright.
no intro this time, or no outro. <laughs> Fuck this chair, man. Maybe. <laughs> Another list on the thing. New chair. Nah, this chair's still pretty good. It creaks a lot. But it still works. Okay. Bye.